two, one, go. He <laughs> Our last qualification match gets underway here. Match number 44, a barrage of Blue Alliance score as they look to get the quintet and reduce that threshold for, oh wow, for the cargo rank point. It's unsuccessful as one of those blue pieces of cargo aimed for the high goal bounces back off of a red piece of cargo. Some unintentional interference, and now the Blue Alliance has two more pieces of cargo carved out in their workload coming up here. Two minutes of driver controlled action coming at you here. Red Alliance confidential with two pieces of red cargo loaded up in the robot. Representing Umatilla, Oregon here, one of the two teams from that town this weekend. Both of their pieces of cargo landing a little bit shy of the high goal. They'll run around here, top left of the field, scooping up some more. They'll drive past the Blue Alliance friends here of the Mabton Lugnuts. Scooping up just one piece of cargo up in that tall, tall aluminum robot. We'll see if they can get that to go. So far still in the robot. Their Alliance partner, of course, putting on a scoring clinic. Jack in the bot. Scooping up cargo after cargo after cargo after cargo. 16 of them across the Alliance, making their way into the Blue Alliance, well, into the hub in general for the Blue Alliance. That Alliance picking up two or four more points in that top hub. They're on that last offensive cycle. They're going to go back and reset, grab a bunch of cargo. Jack in the Bot scoops up two more. Quick and easy, scoops them up into the Alliance hub. They'll pick up one more piece of cargo that they just happen to be sitting next to. They'll fire that off before they go reset and find where the remaining cargo is. It's starting to get kind of scattered across the field here, all four quadrants of the field containing some blue cargo. The red cargo largely clustered towards the right side of the field, and the sushi squad out of Redmond, that 7461 machine, they're sitting in the third or fourth ranked position going into this match, looking to defend that to retain as high of a ranking as they can going into our alliance selection process. So far, their alliance has put up 34 points here in this match. They're looking to add a few last minute ones if they can. Lined up in the red tarmac, their alliance partners, confidential, popping them off. Oh, uh, three of the four between Sushi and Confidential, making their way into the top hub. Six points added to the Red Alliance score on that cycle. And now both alliances will head to the hangers. Jack of the Bot good for a 10 point climb there in the Blue Alliance hangar alongside their alliance partners for four, Mabs and Lugnuts. The Red Alliance scooping up six points of their own in their own hangar that's coming from the Circuit Breakers. Quick ref review before we get our last qualification scores of the morning in. I'll have them see you soon. So we'll need to, uh... Match 44 results are in. It is a Blue Alliance victory with 91 points to the Red Alliance's 48. And our leaderboard actually pretty stable after that one. Only one change in position. Four rank points for each of those Blue Alliance teams. That will keep Jack in the bot on top of your leaderboard. They will be our number one Alliance captain going into the elimination rounds. Sushi Squad holding on to that third rank position there with the one rank point the Red Alliance was able to secure towards their average. Just on the outside of our Alliance captains looking in, the Circuit Breakers, not a bad place to be there in the ninth rank position. Remember, send a one student representative over there 